Hey guys, yep. Just so you guys know, I'm still in YouTube prison. I'm gonna be here till November. That's what they're telling me. So uh, I'm gonna make this video right now. I'm just gonna talk about some things that I've got on my mind. And yeah, it's gonna be some CPN stuff in there because I know you guys love that shit. <laughs> Here's the deal. I'm kind of pissed off right now because I'm cooling my heels in jail, YouTube jail, and you go ahead and you type in CPN in on a YouTube search engine and you see like it's video after video of people doing shit like selling fake documents. I mean, people are doing all sorts of shit and YouTube doesn't seem to have a problem with it. But when the Crusader does it, I guess, you know, YouTube's got a problem. But the crazy thing is, is that in the video that I got that guideline strike for, I didn't even say anything. All I told, said was there was a particular bank that doesn't require documents when you go to open up an account. That is all I said. That's all, that's all I talked about. And I got a guideline strike for that. So right now, I'm in a rare mood. So I'm going to go ahead and speak my mind. Here's the deal when it comes to CPNs. CPNs, a CPN number isn't really, uh, you know, like a number in itself. All a CPN is, is a credit profile that's made at the bureaus. That is it. And a lot of people don't know how credit profiles are made. A lot of people, they walk through life. They don't teach anybody this shit in school. They walk through life and they're like, why don't I have any credit? Uh, you know, what the hell? What is my credit score? I don't even know it. And, you know, it's so important when you're trying to get things like houses, cars, all sorts of things that you need in life, your credit score is so important. But they don't tell, nobody tells anybody how to get one, how they're made, all that kind of stuff. They want to keep that shit a secret. Now, for the past couple of years, obviously, that info has been blown wide open. And, uh, you know, I mean, I'd like to take some credit for that just to see the amount of mass new YouTubers that have hit the scene talking about the same shit that I've been talking about for years. Uh, you know, the only thing I, I do have a problem with is I am not an advocate of fraud. I don't like it when people use this shit in order to like get cell phones to then sell or to run up cards and not pay them back. I'm not for that because that is stealing. It's stealing. You're, I mean, you're not supposed to be doing that. And, and not only that, doing shit like that, that's not sustainable. You're not going to get anywhere doing that kind of shit. You're just going to land yourself in prison, I guess, like me. But you'll be in real prison, though, not just you know, YouTube prison. <laughs> and between the two, I'd, I'd rather be in YouTube prison than real prison. But, uh, you know, as far as all this shit is concerned, and the reason why I brought awareness to it is because for the longest time, I never knew how a credit profile was made. It's like you're 18 years old, you go out and, uh, you know, you go start. You know, I remember in college, they had uh, people come into the campus asking kids because they were 18 if they wanted to apply for credit cards because they knew that they would, you know, be able to get them in debt is pretty much what the deal is with that. But I didn't know how a credit profile was made as far as when you start, you do your first application and when it's sent to the bureaus, then if there's nothing there, they make a file. I didn't know about how the information that's on your credit profile, I didn't know how that was so important as far as being able to link up a credit profile when you apply for something the next time. Like, let's just say you apply for something one time, a credit profile is made, and then you go to apply for something else and you may have moved. Well, now the address is different. So sometimes that causes problems. I see, I didn't know about all that kind of stuff. And the thing with CPNs or credit profiles is when you learn how they're made, it gives you a better whole understanding of how all of this stuff works. And that was what my goal was as far as the information and the awareness that I was bringing to my audience was to let them know how all this stuff works. And it's like someone or somebody or some entity seems to have a problem with me giving that information out, me in particular. And for me, I'm, I'm a little upset over it. Actually, I'm really upset over it. Now, I'm gonna tell you guys something right now. Do I wanna talk about CPNs in all my videos? Actually, no, I really don't. But it's what my audience wants. And when you're a YouTuber and you're trying to build a channel and get views, it is incredibly in competitive. I mean, the past two years, ever since the pandemic, YouTube has exploded with people. Everybody's got a YouTube. Grandma's got a YouTube channel. Everybody's got a YouTube channel. And it is so competitive because there's so many people out there talking about the same shit that you got to set yourself apart. And, you know, there's some, I have knowledge in things that people want to hear. And there, a lot of people didn't have knowledge in it. Well, now they do. <laughs> I guess they took my workshops that I have over at the Crusader Cave, 
But, um, you know, I mean, that's fine. That's fine. But all I'm saying is, is that if I want to be a YouTuber, I have to constantly push the envelope and, you know, tightrope, walk the line as far as, uh, you know, going, you know, overboard in the information that I give people. And it's like, you know, I, I think it's really unfair that I'm being treated this way as far as being put in YouTube jail for like nothing. It was, it was like nothing. Uh, for those of you that saw the video that I did that got in trouble for, you guys know, I mean, it's, it's like, I didn't even say anything. Clearly what we have here is failure to communicate by your friend, the Credit Crusader. Didn't I tell you, boy, you can't talk about that CPN shit here on my YouTube platform? Well, since I've got your attention now, Maybe I can take a little time looking at some other YouTube channels and see if I can find some big brothers who are teaching you people how to make CPNs and get all that shit you are supposed to get. You know what time it is. Justice is blind, so am I. So it's time for all of you to follow me. Christ Almighty, it's a goddamn infestation! There's more of these big problem YouTubers here than there was before talking about CPN. What the hell is this? Some kind of CPN TikTok that's formed up? All these mass bank robbers talking about CPN, talking out of rob the goddamn bank. This guy, I can't believe another one with a mask. What the hell is this shit? This guy's got 170,000 views showing people how to rob the goddamn bank. I need backup. I ain't got enough strength to get everybody right now. Backup, I need more men on this job. YouTube community guidelines and I need backup.